The basic ISO metric thread profile is calculated based on the pitch, P, height, H, major, minor, and pitch diameters. But this profile is subject to tolerance like any manufactured item. And this video focuses on explaining how this works. Let's start with the thread description. General metric threads start with an M, denoting the thread is metric, followed by a number referring to the external thread major diameter. The last number references the pitch. When tolerances are referenced, an extra designation sometimes appears after the pitch. In this example, I've added 5G and 6G. 5G refers to a negative tolerance deviation on the pitch diameter and 6G is a further negative deviation tolerance on the major diameter. We say negative as the thread cannot be larger than the basic or standard profile, otherwise it would interfere with the internal thread associated with the nut, so any tolerance is based on a reduction in size. The internal thread tolerance is accompanied by capital letters and this means the deviation is positive. The nut internal thread cannot be smaller than the standard profile, so any tolerance must lead to an increase in size. The second letter and number combination for internal threads focuses on the minor diameter rather than the major diameter. Two matching internal and external threads, in other words, the nut and screw thread, share a common major, minor and pitch diameter. For the screw thread we will only focus on the major and pitch diameters. We'll call these D and D2 respectively. While for the nut we will focus on minor and pitch diameters. Let's refer to these as capital D1 and D2. The image on screen now shows how thread deviation works. Let's consider the blue line or zero line as the basic thread profile. Both internal and external threads may deviate, but this deviation must be in opposite directions away from the basic profile zero line. In regards to the internal thread, deviation is above the zero line and so is considered positive. Capital ES and EL mark the deviation. Deviation positions are categorised using letters. For the metric internal thread, we only use two positions. These are G and H. The external threads deviate below the zero line, so are considered negative. Lowercase ES and EI mark this deviation. Lowercase letters are also used to identify the negative deviation. There are many deviation positions for external threads noted from positions A through to H. Internal, external thread or nut and screw tolerances are driven by the pitch. As the pitch increases, more external thread deviation positions become available. Position G and H are available for all threads regardless of the pitch. Here is a diagram of the standard or basic thread profile in blue. With internal thread deviation and tolerance overlaid, EL marks the deviation for tolerance position G. The grey section marks the minor and pitch diameter tolerances applied after the position shift. The only other deviation position available for internal threads is H. H offers zero deviation before tolerance begins, and so tolerancing starts at the basic standard profile. The diagram for the external thread reverses the deviation and tolerance direction. Position G offers the smallest deviation. 
deviation increases at each position up until position A. ES marks the deviation. Tolerances are then applied to the major and pitch diameters. The alternative external thread deviation position is H. H again offers zero deviation before tolerancing begins. Multiple tolerance options are available for each tolerancing diameter. These are known as thread tolerance grades. Smaller grade numbers offer the tightest tolerance. Larger tolerance grades may be selected due to cost or manufacturing difficulties. There are extensive charts available on thread tolerance grades. I've opted not to show examples here because there are so many. Information on grades can be found in many engineering textbooks. Metric thread tolerancing is also affected by thread engagement. Short, normal and long thread engagements based on the pitch and major diameters require different tolerances. So just to round up, let's pull all the information together. Both external and internal threads have a preferred tolerance class depending on whether short, normal and long thread engagement is selected. They also depend on whether fine, medium or coarse pitches are selected. The external thread description tolerance is for the pitch and major diameters. Tolerance positions E, F, G and H are preferred for external threads. Any combination shown in the tables here with only one letter and number offer the same class for both diameters. Recommendations are a little more limited for internal threads, but this is because only G and H deviation positions are specified for this type of thread. Pitch and minor diameter tolerance recommendations are identical for both diameters.